how would you like to meet this guy in a dark alley? And if you had to protect yourself, which spines have poison and which don't? Here at the Global Pet Expo, there is one booth that's been attracting a lot of attention. People have been standing in front of this huge, custom 500-gallon lionfish aquarium for the entire show. And no wonder. While they may be invasive, you can hardly take your eyes off of them. And where else could you see 30 of them in one tank? Much has been made about the poison spines and fins of the lionfish, which have now invaded the waters off the United States. And though more a threat to the ecosystem than to humans, you might be interested in knowing that not all of those flowery fins are poisonous. Lad Akins is a lionfish expert. Fincasters asked him which parts of the lionfish are the most dangerous. There are definitely some fins we want to avoid on lionfish, and those include the dorsal spines. There are actually 13 of these that can be upwards of about 5 inches in length, and needle sharp, very, very sharp spines. These are all venomous. Um, on the bottom of the fish, this isn't 100% anatomically correct, but it, you get the idea. On the bottom of the fish, the pelvic fins, of which there are a pair underneath the gills right in here. The very first element of the pelvic fin is a spine on either side. So those two, and then right back here at the anal fin, the first three parts of the anal fin are also venomous spines. The really beautiful ornate pectoral fins that we all see and enjoy on lionfish are not venomous. So we don't have to worry about the pectorals or the tail, but certainly the spines across the top, a pair forward on the bottom, and then the anal spines back here on the bottom are all venomous, and we want to avoid those. Ladd and his team use special gloves when they handle the fish, but his advice, unless you're an expert, it's better to enjoy their beauty in an aquarium. 